Ladies and gentlemen, this is Genzio Media. We are out here at Bitcoin 2025 conference in Las Vegas. You guys can't see the conference room, but I mean, it's huge. There's talks going on. There's people standing everywhere. And we've got Charlie right here next to me from BitLayer. Charlie, thanks for hopping on today. Thanks for having me, Evan. Yeah, yeah no problem. So, you know, BitLayer, DeFi on Bitcoin. I've hear, been hearing a lot of buzz around, you know, similar technologies ever since Nashville. Why don't you kind of fill us in, give us top level, what is BitLayer? How are you guys different? What are you bringing to the ecosystem and what are you bringing to the event? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so yeah, this is my second time, you know, with interview with Gen Zero. Great team, uh, massive respect. Um, we, this is my, all, my sixth time in the Bitcoin conference. We sponsored all the Bitcoin conference last year. We were in Nashville. So my, uh, I'm co-founder of BitLayer. We started 2023, one of the first team deep dive on BVN research and engineering. So 18 months into the work, we're launching our BVM bridge, which is the third generation Bitcoin bridging solution. Well, with the mission to activate Bitcoin liquidity to bring that to across different ecosystem. We just had our announcement with SWE, with Cardano, with Base and Arbitrum and a few other ecosystem. And uh, yesterday we announced our Bitcoin mining pool uh, support. So Enful, F2 Pool and Spider Pool is strategically become our bridge operator and also investor. So we want to aim in to activate more Bitcoin liquidity, which is the biggest asset class right now in Web3, right? To the DeFi space. Uh, we're bringing a lot of the DeFi protocols, like the blue chip ones, like Mofo, Aave, to our ecosystem as well. So far, like 52 million uh, transactions already made our mainnet since last year. Uh, we want to get our institutional adoption as well. Franklin Temple is our leading investor on Series A, which we announced last year in the Bitcoin Nashville. This year, obviously, Bitcoin almost doubled the price with a lot of liquidity and a movement already in the on-chain. So we want to bring this De Bitcoin DeFi use cases to all the Bitcoiners across retail and institution. Yeah. Awesome. So you guys, for the bridge aspect and kind of getting, you know, onboarded into this layer, right? Is that working between the Bitcoin native layer onto? Onto our layer two bit layer, but also different layer one, layer two across SWE, Cardano and other ecosystem, right? The goal is to sending, you know, move the Bitcoin liquidity through our trust minimized way, which is basically building the, the fraud proof on chain using Bitcoin script. So as long, as long as one operator in our bridge is secure and honest, they're gonna initiate a challenge game, make sure the security of the bridge is, 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 is solid. And then we can bring the liquidity and a mint on the destination chain, we call this YPDC across different ecosystems. So we're looking at a couple of hundred, a couple of thousand Bitcoin and to bridge over in the first phase very soon. Yeah, we're gonna roll out, you know, across different ecosystems, um, you know, so the goal is to bring those Bitcoin to entering solid top DeFi protocols across different ecosystems, right? We're looking at a yield around five to 10%, yeah, in a sustainable way. Sure, amazing. Now, are there smart contracts on this layer? Is it really DeFi as we know DeFi? Yeah, well, it, we're even compatible, right? So building, deploying your smart contract DeFi use case on bin layer is the same experience like building with Arbitrum. The, the, there's two small differences, which is key. One is we use wrapped version Bitcoin as the gas fee, right? And the majority of our liquidity is on Bitcoin assets. Yeah. I see. Now, what are some of your you know hopes for this as it evolves over the next few years? Well, I think three things are very important. Regulation-wise, we really hope we can see SEC approve the ETF staking, right? Across Ethereum and also Bitcoin. And then, major institution, even including like even MicroStrategy, right, and other big corporates and the ETF issuer like 21 shares, Franklin Temperton, VAC, this goes on, to actually engage the, the, the Bitcoin DeFi, Bitcoin yield products. We want to issue the Bitcoin yield bearing ETPs with them as well. That's kind of our next goal. The second thing we're going to see probably Bitcoin have another very interesting upgrade. Potentially could be OpCat, right? Then we can have more expressive native smart contract on Bitcoin and across Bitcoin layers like us as well. So that's like a technical operation. We are kind of contributing that, you know, talking to all the miners, all the Bitcoin calls and so on. And in use case adoption wise, we want to see very institutional grade top, you know, adoption happening with Bitcoin lending, Bitcoin options, all these like proper use cases being used by retail users and also institutions, right? Hopefully we can hit some big numbers in terms of like billions of dollars of TVL and uh, hundreds of millions of transactions, that kind of level, yeah. Sure, awesome. Now, do you have any time frame on when you hope to see those numbers being hit? 
I think it's a gradual and eventually will become exponential growth. Um, next 12 months is going to be interesting. We're going to see some nine figures numbers coming along the ways on Bitcoin DeFi across TVL, user base. User base will be at eight figures, but uh, yeah, uh, TVL, nine figures, even 10, fi 10 figures, I think potentially will happen in the next 12 months. And then we're going to see some very top projects come into the Bitcoin DeFi space. Sure. Yeah, and I mean, with the new, you know, chairman of the SEC in, in that scene, I'm sure it helps. No more Gary. Yeah. Yeah, fingers crossed with the uh, new policies. Totally. How are you guys liking the event so far? What's well, what got going on? Well, this, as I said, this is my sixth conference. Probably the best conference in terms of logistics, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody in one roof in the Venetian hotel, very comfortable, very easy to to leave, and uh, you know, everybody just basically leaving the hotel, right? So it's like we don't necessarily have to get our door, so it's very convenient. Sure. Every all the OGs, all the media, all the partners are here, all the investors are here. So I think. Nothing to complain, right? I think Bitcoin Magazine is doing an amazing job. Uh, UTXO Management is our early supporter investor from Seed Round. They had a very good event yesterday in the Investor Day. So they're doing amazing work. Yeah, so recruiters for them. Awesome. Now, is there anything you guys are hoping to you know, take advantage of slash capture while you're here in Vegas with you know, all these other builders? Well, yeah, definitely wants to meet all the institutions. Like a lot of decision makers from top institutions are here. So we sponsor the institutional stage. It's in the enterprise hall. Uh, you're going to see our branding with the LED screen and everything. So hopefully we're going to meet all these interesting uh, decision makers across all the ETF issuers, asset management institutions. And of course, uh, we have some interesting conversation with the mining pools across Foundry, Marathon, even ABDC, and some of them will eventually lead to partnerships like just like what we had yesterday. Yeah. What did you have yesterday? Haven't so yesterday, yeah, we covered by CoinDesk and Coin Telegraph and a few other major media. F2 pool, Spider pool, and Anna pool. These three pool together has one third of Bitcoin hash rate. Right. They become our investor and uh, BVM bridge operator. Yeah. So having those top mining pools support us is a huge endorsement, and it'll make sure we have high level security in our bridge. Amazing. I mean, that's pretty significant endorsement, right? Now I'm curious, what does that endorsement look like on a fundamental level, right? How does that yeah. put you guys in a better position? Yeah, so let's see. I got two or three things, right? Like Bitcoin mining pools, they barely working with any new Bitcoin ecosystem project. So we're one of the first that they really support, right? Put that name there and become our investor as well. All the mining pool, they, all the new mining Bitcoin, which regulation-wise is the pure Bitcoin. So there's no KYC AML concern. That's, those Bitcoin are new, right? They're not touched by the circle guys, the ISIS, the terrorists, the North Korean. So there's no issue on that. So those are the Bitcoin, are the best Bitcoin we can enter as a liquidity for Bitcoin DeFi stuff, right? So institution can engage as well. So that's kind of the goal in the long run. But uh, we want to, the goal for the miners, like our infrastructure, we want to bring fees, we want to bring a new revenue stream for the mining pools. So miners have incentive, right? And they, it's a right feedback loop for them to keep supporting us. The goal is to bring, build this programmable infrastructure. We can generate in fees to the miners, right? So upcoming uh, halving, another two or three rounds of cycles of halving, big corners, the miners actually can rely on some new fees like the infrastructure like us, not just the Bitcoin blocks rewards. Yeah. Amazing. Well, is there anything coming at the event that you guys are waiting to announce or anything in the near future that our we viewers can be excited for? Yeah, thanks for asking. So obviously, Billayer, we're launching our governance token, BTR token soon. The major announcement is our V2 mainnet, right, which is uh, Bitcoin security equivalent layer two, uh, powered by BVM. We're working on in the last 18 months. We're finally finishing the auditing work. I think we're getting ready for the V2 mainnet launch. That's going to be the first in the Bitcoin space, which is Bitcoin security equivalent. We want to have the Bitcoin settlement, Bitcoin finality for DeFi use cases to eventually settle on the mother chain, which is very important for the industry. So stay tuned on that la launch. We're going to we are welcoming uh, all the use cases, right, the builders to work with us. We're going to give all kinds of like support across liquidity and the grants and so on. So a lot of uh, e ecosystem growth plan we're going to roll out after the V2 mainnet. Sounds very interesting. Where can our viewers keep an eye out for that? So the best way is follow us on Twitter, Billier Labs. Uh, we have around uh, 1 million followers. Uh, hopefully to see people who are interested in the Bitcoin DeFi to tap into our ecosystem, earn some yield, participate in some campaign, get some rewards. Yeah, I think that's the best way to have a taste about what we do. 
Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Charlie. Thank you. I think, you know, it's definitely really interesting to hear where you guys are at, where you're going. Mm -hmm. Right. I've heard a lot of buzz around, you know, DeFi on Bitcoin, right? But I think you guys are bringing Bitcoin to DeFi, right? Which yeah. is something unique and seems like you guys are headed in the right direction and seeing the success of that. So, you know, thank you very much. Thank you, Evan. Yeah. yeah. Pleasure. Stay untamed with BC Game and make a prediction today and use code GENZIO. Hey, what's up? But it's not something GENZIO is afraid of. If you want to survive, you got to build a house. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen. The back of the GENZIO movie house. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us today.